Welcome back everyone, and today we're going to be taking x-ray videos. Okay, so you're probably confused, what is an x-ray video? It's kind of in the name, but it can still be kind of confusing. And as you may know, a normal x-ray is just a simple image. But what if we can do that in video format, where you can actually have videos of things working mechanically in x-ray? Well, the good news is we can do that, and that's what we're going to be doing today. And today we're going to be doing this on non-living objects, but back in the past, they actually used to do this on living people. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty bad because this x-ray video exposes you to an insane amount of radiation, right? Your normal x-ray exposure is like 0.1 seconds, maybe 0.5, somewhere around there, where the x-ray video can go on for minutes. Um, and this was commonly employed way back then um, in a process known as fluoroscopy. So they would have these fluoroscope screens which turn x-rays into visible light. If you watch my previous x-ray videos, you know what I'm talking about and they would actually have a surgeon put on one of these masks that would turn the x-rays into visible light and then put an x-ray tube below a patient and then he would work in live x-ray vision doing a surgery. Yeah, it is awesome, but the issue is uh, minutes of exposure under an x-ray tube constantly emitting is gonna lead to some bad things. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a taste of the past and do some x-ray videos. Okay, so how are we going to be taking these x-ray videos? And we're gonna be using this setup right here Plus this. Ignore this. I uh, actually just got done filming all the x-ray videos, but I said I'll explain it now. This was a device I was using to uh, make some cool x-ray videos. Anyway, so right here is a 80,000 volt high voltage DC power supply. And right here also has these filament power supplies, but I I'll get into that later. But here's the high voltage outputs, and these run across our x-ray tube here. This isn't the actual x-ray tube, just in a housing with oil to prevent arc over and keep the tube cool. Um, anyway, so our high voltage connects there and there. This is our anode. This is our cathode. Essentially what happens, the high voltage comes across. Uh, electrons build up here. The electrons have enough energy to fly across this vacuum tube, essentially what it is. They come and slam into the anode, which is actually right here is where the anode starts. Um, and then it emits x-rays. 1% of the energy is turned to x-rays and it shoots out here. Um, and pretty much this filament here is called a hot cathode. And the hot cathode uh, heats up in boils off electrons. It, it just makes electrons uh, emit from the cathode easier, right, when it's hot. So that emits electrons across. So depending on how much uh, current you send through this, uh, changes the temperature of the filament in there. And the temperature of the fil filament determines the amount of electrons. So the amount of electrons determines the uh, amount of x-rays. And then you also have the voltage um, determining, you know, the energy of those x-rays. But uh, that's just a short overview of how this whole thing works. Um, and yeah, so in here we got something uh, pretty special. I can take this off. And it is this little guy. And you may say, what is this white sheet? What does it do? This is an x-ray intensifying screen. Well, it came out of that housing there. And this stuff is actually very simple. Um, this converts x-rays into visible light, right? You can't normally see x-rays. This makes you be able to see x-rays. But anyway, we can use this to take photos like you probably saw in my previous videos. But we can also use this to take video, right? If we just leave the tube constantly emitting in this right here, all we gotta do is put something moving in front of it that you want to x-ray, and uh, I record it back here with a camera, and uh, yeah, we have our x-ray video, and it's really cool, because I wanna know what's better than pictures? Videos, all the way. So, yeah, that's the uh, gist of this setup. Again, ignore that uh, rig I got going there, um, but yeah the whole setup and let's take some awesome videos. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, x-ray this little thing. Um, it pretty much just winds up. Ooh, okay, let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's a little bit of a struggle. But anyway, you get it. It winds up and then it moves like this. So let's go ahead and x-ray this. I want to x-ray uh, video from you know this way and then also on its side. So we'll do both of those. Okay, wow, that came out awesome looking. You can see a little wind-up gear in there, how the feet move, how it makes the head bobble, all that. So that's the really cool things of x-ray video. And I got a lot more cool things to show you on x-ray video, which I think will look really cool. There is gonna be some challenges with some of the stuff because you know, I can't really just sit here and uh, move stuff around or get things going the way I need to. I got this uh, toy train here and these wheels move. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, x-ray this. I'm gonna have to move it back a bit because it is fairly close right now. So we'll give it some distance and see what that looks like in x-ray video. Very realistic as you can see, but we'll see how that looks on x-ray. that came out pretty cool but um as you can see there really wasn't much to it you couldn't even see these little plastic bits here they're just too transparent to x-rays um but you could see the screw on there going Ch -ch -ch -ch. i don't i guess the motor is built into there i couldn't really see it in the video um but yeah this was okay but i wouldn't say anything crazy um so let's move on to some other things okay, so our next thing we have here i think is going to be very interesting and it is a bottle rocket so when i light this thing and let it go <laughs> are you going to see the exhaust? Are you going to see the black powder there slowly disappear? And then the little pop at the end. I don't know. This is interesting. Hopefully it doesn't shred my uh, setup I got going here. But yeah, this is going to be a, a very interesting one. This one was kind of a bit of a failure. All right, it scorched my bottom. Oh, the thing's still smoking. I'm scared this thing's going to pop all of a sudden. <laughs> Get out there. Um... Yeah, so you could, I caught it just on the very tail end where you could see the black powder burning away. That was awesome. Now I just want to see the, the pop and the little explosion at the end. So I'm going to do this again. That one didn't pop either and it uh, took off. It wasn't in there good enough. So let's try this again. Hopefully this last one pops. These are pretty old, like four or five years old. So... Okay, so this video is going to look weird because I'm not in my lab, but I've lost some footage. I don't know how. I guess I just didn't press record because the uh, numbers on the video files are still in perfect order. So, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, the bottle rocket one came out really cool and you saw the explosion. And it seemed like all that crud that was left behind inside the bottle rocket tube got like blown out the back. Because you can see it goes a lot more transparent which is pretty cool. And anyway, so the next object we are doing in this is going to be a little flying car thing. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. And yes, the glasses are still broken, still waiting for the new ones to come in. It's taking a long time. Yeah, it's kind of far away from the screen. So ee, probably isn't gonna be that nice, but yeah, we'll see. That, that did not come out good at all. You can't really even see the gears moving because every time it's whacking the... Yeah, screw this thing. It ain't even worth it. So, on to our next thing. You ever heard of redneck engineering? This is redneck engineering. So, got a string attached to this lead plate. This will push down the syringe. This syringe will be full of potassium iodide solution. This will absorb x-rays. And I'm going to drip it into this water solution. So, normally this is going to be clear. And when you see them mixing, you're not going to see anything, right? But under the x-ray, it should be really beautiful because the more dense potassium iodide will, you know, like dropping dye in water, but the x-ray version. Um, so, yeah, here's the string. <laughs> Goes back over here and connects to here. And then I got my shield in here. Um, yeah, this thing is ghetto. But let's go ahead and make some potassium iodide solution. Potassium iodide is in here. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to have to be very careful. I don't want to break anything over there with a lead plate hanging over all the glass. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm going to go about this very simply. Just add a bit of our potassium iodine crystals. Iodide. Just a bit of it in there and then dissolve it up. And that should be plenty right there. And it's endothermic too. Ah, feels good. Now I'm going to load our syringe. Really only need about four milliliters or so. The rest we can fill with air. Okay. Oh, is that gonna auto drip out? That might be an issue. All right, I will let that stabilize, but for now I'm gonna place that solution under here. Sorry if this is a really bad angle. I can't really change it here at the moment. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, x-ray this happening. Hopefully it is really cool. It 
worked. Um, the video, as you can see, it's kind of iffy. The water's already absorbing quite a bit of x-rays as it is. So you can definitely see the potassium ionized solution hit the bottom and whoosh, but there's not as much contrast as I was hoping for. But hey, it did work and it did look pretty cool and it's um, all in x-ray vision. So that is awesome. Now we're gonna do uh, this clock. It's a battery powered one, so it might not be as cool as, you know, a wind up one, it's all the gears, but it should be pretty cool. Um, and then next we'll be uh, using this guy again, the syringe. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, run this thing. Clock was, it was okay. Um, nothing really uh, too crazy because it's all just battery powered. So there's a small electric motor and you could see the uh, second hand moving around, which is kind of cool, but uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our next project, which will involve our syringe again, which hopefully should be really cool. We're gonna go ahead and do this orange slice. So I'll reload my syringe and uh, try it on the orange slice. So that was pretty cool. Um, I was hoping it would have spread out more throughout it. Um, but I'm probably gonna have to try something else. So uh, let me think a bit, but that one came out decently. So I think the issue is, is that see how the oranges have these little like uh, sack things. Um, when I injected it, it kind of just flowed around in between these and then came out the bottom, right? Path of least resistance. Um, and it's only just gonna go straight out. It's not gonna kind of spread out in the other directions which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna to try to inject something else with uh, potassium iodide and see how that looks. So I came up with a great idea. Instead of using fruit and stuff, let's use styrofoam. It's porous enough, and I think it should look cool as it flows through the styrofoam on the x-ray video. Um, got a similar setup to as I did with the other ones, so I added some extra strings and stuff to uh, help this. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and inject it and see what we get. go for round two because that first one looked so awesome that was incredible so i'm excited to see how round two goes so let's go ahead and hit it okay those were awesome just the way you see it spread out in the styrofoam just that is so cool and you can't even see the styrofoam it just looks like it's floating because the styrofoam is pretty much just air it's not dense at all um and then the way you see it just crackle through it that is incredible beautiful beautiful and all using this uh great little setup here with the super long string okay well that wraps it up for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and that's gonna be the end for the x-ray stuff for now i know I, I went back to chemistry for like one video with the dopamine and then i brought the x-ray machine i was like yeah, never mind. I'm going back to x-ray stuff because it's just so fun. But this is the final video. I don't I don't have any more ideas what to do with x-ray machine unless you guys give me some. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.